All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. First, let's get the business out of the way. If my content has ever given you any value, definitely smash that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. All right, on to the question that has been asked so many times, and it's time to address it. Now, we are going to talk about shrinkage of conduit. Now, not to be confused with going in cold water and shrinkage there. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I was in the pool! But we're going to be talking specifically about how to figure out conduit shrinkage. I'm going to show you guys a product that I think is pretty awesome and Klein is just pretty good. Now I'm not sponsored by them, but Klein, I'm going to show you guys the product that I think is super, super helpful. Now, if you're in the trade long enough, you kind of just know it, but if you don't and you just need a refresher, this tape measure right here, guys, is fantastic. And why is it? Well, obviously it shows you the right measures, but on the back, look at that. It has so much information. Let me show you the right way. It has so much information, right? It has conduit bending multipliers with the shrinkage per bend. Now that is pretty neat, right? So it tells you that, for instance, that a 10 degree bend, which I've already covered all these, but I'm gonna tell you, is six times whatever your measurement is. All right, and your 15 is four, of course they say 3.9, but we always round it up. Uh, 22 and a half is 2.6. 30 is 2, 45 is 1.4, yada, yada, yada. Then it gives you some other stuff, which we are gonna cover on this channel. Uh, your ABC phases, you know, how to figure out what number it is. But anyway, this tape measure is really, really nice. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the 25 footer, but you know what? It is what it is. So let's start out talking about conduit shrinkage and what does it mean? I'm gonna show you guys on a piece of conduit, basically what it looks like when you shrink it down. We're gonna have a little short piece. I'm gonna bend it. I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, we might even do, I think it was somebody asked me about a four point saddle. How much basically does it take off by the time that, you know? So uh, we're gonna do all that and more. <laughs> all right, so anyway, let's start. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna use this tape measure. Now we know that the, we're gonna bend on 30 degrees, the multiplier is two, and the shrink factor is quarter inch per every inch of take up, all right? That says right here on the back of this tape measure. You can find it in Ugly's book. What you're gonna to have to remember is for every inch that you go up, so we're gonna use a four inch offset. We have to, what's gonna happen is, if we take a four foot piece, right? If we take a four foot piece of conduit and we bend a four inch offset on this, by the time that this is measured to here. So if this started out at four foot, by the time that we, so four foot equals 48 inches, so you know, by the time that we measure this, okay, you're gonna lose, because we have a four inch offset, and it's a quarter inch for every inch, right? For every inch. So we're gonna lose how many inches? All right, well, if it's a four inch and a quarter inch, plus a quarter inch, plus a quarter inch, plus a quarter inch, because that's four, right? One, two, three, four. That equals one inch. Four quarters equals a dollar, right? So a quarter is not as one. So by the time that we bend this, on, which I'm gonna show you, by the time that we bend this four, 48 inch piece, four, four foot piece, the four inch offset is gonna lose one inch. So your total pipe after you bend it, right? So it'll look like something like this. From here to here will only be 47 inches. So if you have to have 48 inches, you're gonna have to add an inch to your measurement. So you come out with 48 inches. Does that make sense? And if it was a five inch, let's, all right, let's, let's do this before I bend this. Let me show you, all right? Remember, we're gonna bend it on 30, so it's a quarter inch for every inch, all right? And the multiplier for 30 degrees times two. So let's say we want a six inch, all right? We have a four foot piece of pipe right here. Still have the four foot piece of pipe. Now we want a six inch offset, all right? All right, well our multiplier is what? What is our multiplier gonna be? Six times two is 12, right? So between the marks will be 12 inches. How much is it gonna take off? Well, let's, let's look at this, all right? Quarter inch plus a quarter inch plus a quarter inch plus a quarter inch plus a quarter inch. Now how much, by, if this was a four foot piece of pipe to begin with, how much are we gonna lose, all right? 
Now let's see, one, two, three, four, so there's one inch. A quarter plus a quarter is another half. So you're gonna lose one and a half inches off this four foot piece. So now by the time that you get your offset from point A to point B, your pipe, all right, is only gonna be 46 and a half inches, right? Because 46 and a half is half, zero. You carry your one, six, seven, eight. You've lost an inch and a half on your pipe. So you're gonna have to compensate that. So you'll have to add, if this was a four foot piece, you have to add another inch and a half to it to get the full 48 inches, all right? So just keep that in mind. Like if somebody's telling you a measurement, you know, uh, you know, the offset needs to be, you know, in the middle of the pipe or, you know, come back 26 inches. Well, you know, if you gotta come back 26 inches, you're, you're gonna have to come, you know, an inch and a half more than that, just to make sure you get the bend in the right spot. Now, let's, go to the pipe itself and let's check out this measurement here we want a four inch offset all right i'm gonna have a we'll just say we'll just say a four foot piece because it's easier for me to use four foot four foot pipe emt and we're gonna see what we start with and what we end with all right let's go let's do it okay so bad news this is the only pipe that i have right now so we're gonna measure it because of the simple fact that my porta band blade just snapped and I'm gonna have to order some new ones. So we're gonna take a measurement of what this is. Now this right here, can you see? 37 and a half inches to the bottom of the pipe. So almost 48 inches. So now we only have 37 and a half. Ooh, hold on. So now we only have 37 and a half, all right? Now we know that we're gonna have a four inch offset, so how much will we lose? Well, we know that we're gonna lose one whole entire inch, so we, we should start with 37 and a half and end with, what? One inch difference, so what would that be? 36 and a half, you guys are sharp. This is what we should end with, but let's see if indeed that's what we do end with. So let's go ahead and mark. We'll come back three inches or so. We'll just come back four inches, all right? And we do know that we want a four inch offset. So a multiplier of two, right? For 30 degrees. So we need a four inch offset, so we need eight, right? Eight, four times two is eight. So we need eight. So if we mark this here at 12 inches, we should be right. And we'll double check it here. It should be eight inches between the marks. And it is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pipe and we're gonna bend a four inch offset on here. And we are going to see if indeed we lose the inch. All right, got my marks, let's bend it. I'm gonna have to remark it because the erasable marker came right off. So we are going to bend this right here in the bender. No editing. I'm just gonna go ahead and bend it. And I'm hoping that it'll be semi right. Let's see. All right, let's see what we got. 30 degree. Take it and we'll flip her over. Slide the pipe. And if you don't know how to bend an offset, guys, check up here in the corner because I do have a video how to bend conduit. All right, let's bend it here. 30 degrees. <sighs> Pretty close. All right, that's a four inch offset. But we do, we definitely need to check it just to make sure because that will determine if we lose that inch or not. So let's see, you guys, I'm not even gonna edit any of this out. Ah, took my microphone right off. The new DJI microphones are pretty fantastic. And keep it away from there though. All right, let's see if this is a four inch offset. Three and a half. So we'll have to bend a little bit more because we definitely want to get this right. We want to make sure that we get it so we can sight down the pipe. Not enough. That's pretty close. Let's see what it is now. So you guys, see, I haven't been caught in a long time. Actually, last time I bent conduit was, I believe, on this channel here. It's been a while. All right, I got four and a half, so it's going uphill probably. Yeah, see that a little bit. We'll just tweak it a little bit. 
I think that's going to be really, really, really close. It might be close enough. Let's see. This thing ain't got a tape measure. Got the magnets on it. Great. Oh, yeah. That's DBA. You know what that is? Dead balls accurate. All right. Well, while I got it here, let's just uh, measure here. Now, it's going to be almost, I'm not going to say impossible, but it's going to be really close to getting the right measurement. You almost have to, it's right at 36 and a half. I'm going to bring you closer. I won't even turn it off. I won't, so we don't edit. My battery's going dead, of course, but I do want to show you guys what I am looking at. So hopefully the battery will stay long enough for this. All right, hey, all right, let's see. All right, let's see. So it's kind of hard to get this measurement um, because, I'll just show you. All right, there's the top. If we were to go straight across, it would be 36 and a half, but I got to angle it so you're five eighths. But if it was, you know, level like it is right here, it's 36 and a half. So we lost the inch, just like the math shown. So the next video, guys, if you're interested in it, will be how to correct dog legs and pipe because that has been asked and I haven't done a video yet, but that's going to be next. So definitely stick around. If my content has given you guys any value, definitely smash that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see what happens next. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.